And then here's another dish. I'll have this for another uh, night. So I have a quarter of the rice. What's up, fertility? Let's get these babies, ladies. Show you guys this look at that the last video I posted of unboxing the groceries I had on this shirt and I um, it's a lot looser all right I'm not going to unbox obviously I've already put them out just because they take a long time um I am gonna zoom in on a couple of things let me swing around this way I am all right that worked out okay so a couple of things that I got uh, that I want to talk about. So I got more of these grapefruit. They're pink grapefruit. These look a little lighter. Anyway, I got these. I saw some more online that they behave in the body like metformin does. I don't have diabetes, but I like that reaction. I'm working on my insulin, so I got more of these. I've been doing for breakfast or when I break my fast, uh, one of these and sprinkling it with monk fruit and that's been very good so i like that and then the vitamin c and that also helps with vitamin absorption um i think iron and some other things so if you can mix your vitamin c with like other things like vitamin d iron it helps with absorption so i've just been taking my supplements after i take that like my coq10 and uh what's the other one and my prenatal all right so i have that and what else I got Parmesan crisp. These are one gram of carbs. So I liked that. I got some stuff for a little charcuterie board. So this is just, it's hot sopraceta, uncured spicy salami. And I got cheese. I'm going to put that on the Parmesan crisp because I can't have like cheese and crackers. I like doing just like a little dish of like cheese, crackers, apple, grapes. I can't do that on the keto. Um, well, I have to modify it on the keto. So these are fine because it's protein, dairy, fat, meat. Um, <laughs> that's fine. So I'm going to do it on the crisp. And these are jalapeno flavored. So that should be fun. Okay. Some other cool stuff that I got. This is whipped cream cheese, which it's tepti, whatever it is. This was the best bang for the buck. Oh, it's made by Kraft. There was another one, the Philly cream cheese, but it was a smaller thing for a higher price. So I got this one, we'll see how it goes. I also wanna do some baking. So I got blue poppy seeds, poppy seeds are good for you, and a little bit of lemon extract that I want to do some baking with. I got almond flour so I can make it keto. And I also got this keto friendly sugar sweet leaf better than sugar power uh, powdered sweetener so it's good for baking the monk fruit doesn't dissolve it gets like grainy so I tried to make something with it I can't remember and it just it tastes a little like sandpaper which takes me out of the mood I got some fresh spinach and frozen spinach I held up the frozen first cut leaf spinach and I got the fresh I know some of you said you can't afford some of this stuff usually the frozen is a little bit cheaper if you can get it you know, wherever you are, this is a better choice than canned or going without. So this I can throw in different dishes. I can make soups with it. Um, I can saute it in a pan. And then of course the fresh I'll do like salads or sometimes I like to mix it up with the eggs. I might try it. I think this weekend I'm gonna do recipes with you because we've done enough of just food, like looking at food, like let's mix it up and see how it goes. I think that's all I want. Let me go back over there so I can see. More berries, I did get a um salad mix because i want to mix up I, I get tired of just the the spinach for salad so i want to have something with this i still have tomatoes i got more of the pasture raised eggs i 
just got 18 of them I think I don't know Friday so I haven't gone through all of them but I'm going to use these to boil if you can't get like the 18 or 12 dozen of the pasture raised eggs and you really want to try them do the six these are only six it's a lot cheaper I mean it's cheaper than the bigger ones it's not cheaper compared to regular eggs but if you just want to kind of see so many more um, omega-3s and just ethically raised so if you can dabble in that I highly recommend it if not use the regular eggs you or use like their organic or whatever else like make it work for your budget right okay so then I got this um, cilantro lime because I want to make keto tacos so did you know they made tortillas with almond flour I didn't eat it girl so I got some of this I think that'll be fun I got some crumbled blue cheese I'm gonna use that with my salad oh I got turkey bacon because bacon is okay on the keto, but I'm worried now about my cholesterol, I'm not gonna lie. So I just got turkey bacon. Um, it's uncured, it's recommended for uncured meat on the keto. Uh, I got more chicken breast, I'm gonna use this because I wanna make, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do tacos or fajitas, we'll see. I still have bell pepper in there. I was originally gonna do like stuffed bell peppers, which I, I might save that, so I might just do chicken tacos. I also got tahini sauce, so that I can use to season with the chicken or what else do i have in there i can use it to season other things but it might use it for chicken it has um two carbs in it zero fiber zero sugar added one gram of protein four grams of fat so it's super keto friendly what else oh and then some baja seasoning i somehow poked a hole in salsa baja skillet sauce starter so that'll be that will be for the chicken that i'm using for the tacos and then i'll do probably i got cilantro so i'll probably do cilantro and onions on top of it and yeah, oh, and I got jalapeno. I also wanna make ceviche. One of my childhood best friends put a ceviche on Instagram and it's, she's using the canned salmon and lime, cilantro, tomato. I think she used cucumber. I'm not gonna use cucumber, but I wanna make that and then use the celery for dip. She used chips. I can't use chips because I'm on keto, but I, I thought that was something fun and it's like protein and it's got um, good vitamin C in it and just sounds fun. Like with the lime and the jalapeno and a little bit of spice um yeah so that's where we are with the food i weighed in yesterday at 145 which i'm super excited i'm trying not to get too overly influenced by the scale so i think i'm also going to start measuring myself like what does my waist look like what do my arms look like i have not been today's thursday i haven't been as diligent about the gym this week i am i have acupuncture tonight and then group therapy so the goal is to go tomorrow Friday and Saturday Sunday so we're just gonna start banging it out I have been doing my weights I need to do it a little bit more today like while I'm working and so oh did I mention this I got the probiotic whole milk yogurt so that that whoa I will mix with a different fruit and I might add it to my smoothies I'm worried about the smoothies being too cold though so we'll see how that goes Clara recommended warm foods so I've been doing warm smoothies so this might just be um, yogurt on its own or it might be as a topping or as a meal on its own, or it might be a topping. Yeah, I also got sour cream. Sour cream is good on the keto. And because I am lactose intolerant, I did get the lactate just to reduce the reaction in my body from it. I did read that being lactose intolerant does not cause the same inflammatory reaction as like an immune thing. So it's not as flared up, but there is still a reaction. So hopefully this will reduce the reaction. The plan is to still remove dairy once I start medicating which hopefully hopefully it will be in about seven days so we'll see we'll see where we are all right I have to actually gotta jump in the shower so I can get ready for acupuncture I will come back tonight and we'll do a meal see how that goes how are you guys doing thanks for hanging out with me okay guys this smells so good here is the fajita in the making so I ended up with um, I did chicken bell pepper I put some cilantro some jalapeno I did tomatoes I just like the burst of tomatoes and I think it's colorful and those will go in the almond flour tortillas okay and then I'm prepping this is going to be this is gonna be ceviche ceviche esque I guess because the salmon is already cooked uh, but I think it is oh no maybe not okay <laughs> so this is gonna be ceviche with salmon so I've got lime juice in there I have cilantro tomato onion and again some jalapeno I put a little bit of the seeds in there so I would get some heat then I'm gonna drop this in there I'm gonna 
refrigerate this overnight um, to cook the salmon like ceviche cooks it with the juices and then I put all these lovely seasonings on it um, not the turmeric I used cayenne for this but I did the pepper the salt and that and I'll put a lid on it like I said and put it in overnight and then this last thing I did I have one bell pepper left so I am going to do a stuffed bell pepper with this um, ground beef there so it's about I probably am only gonna use a third of that I think because I used a third earlier this week to do um, beef broccoli so yeah Yeah, so I kind of put myself in a pinch um, this week because I didn't mail prep on the weekend. It's Thursday and I just got the food, right? Um, I mean, I had food from last week. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. Sorry, guys. But I didn't meal prep, and so now I'm trying to at least make something, one for tonight so I can eat. So the fajitas will be for tonight. The bell pepper stuff, bell pepper, will be for tomorrow. And then the ceviche will be for a nice snack. I'll use, I'll chop up some celery. And um, that'll be for, like, a nice, it's got carb, it's got protein, it's fresh. So, yeah, that is what is going on there. And then I'm going to add protein chicks. I talked to Claire about it tonight. So... We talked about not having any, anything cold um, because this is the warming phase of the uterus. Actually, we're not going to do anything cold um, up until transfer. So, But typically, you don't want to do cold things in your luteal phase if you're not doing medicated cycles. You want to have um, warm things to support the progesterone in your body. Anyway, so I am going to do it with warm water or warm nut milk, but I need the protein because I need to increase my calories. I'm, I'm still not hitting 1200 a day, which is not good for the body or the brain long term. So I'm going to work on that. And then I've got peanut butter, the dry peanut butter, like a, it's, I can't remember what it is, but it's like PB2 or whatever. I'm gonna add that to the smoothies. I have some protein, I'll add the collagen, I'll add all that fun stuff. Um, and the chia seeds to help me hit my calories. All right, I will show you guys the end. Oh, I have avocado I'm gonna put on the fajita too. That also helps with the heat, something fatty. <sighs> Acupuncture was amazing. I'm super relaxed. That's why I'm rushing. I'm trying to like eat and finish this and get in the bed because I just want to lay down. Okay, here are the finished fajitas. I did put avocado and sour cream um, and everything that was in the pot is in there. I did not make the rice. I'm tired. I'm tired, ladies. And I'll tell you in the morning, but yeah. <laughs> I'll show you the rest tomorrow. There's a lot of wind howling, I'm sure you can hear it, but here we go. We have our Saturday morning breakfast. It's actually 12.44, but this is how I'm breaking my fast, so it's breakfast. I've got my chia pudding and whole yogurt parfait. Hi, girls. So there's chia pudding here. There's strawberries, yogurt. Stop it. Chia pudding, strawberries, yogurt, strawberries. And then I have my eggs and spinach. I put a little bit of nutritional yeast in the mix um, for some good old vitamin B. And yeah, my um, the chia has the chia pudding has the chia pudding has the orgain protein, it's got collagen, it's got chia seeds. Oh, you know what? I should put some on top. I should sprinkle some on top. Okay. I added some chia seeds on top just for a little crunch. There is obviously chia in the chia pudding, uh, which I would made as part of my meal prep. So now it's all blended together. All right, it's Saturday. It is Saturday, February 6th. I fell asleep on you guys. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to finish up those meals that we talked about the other day. So first things first, I'm going to make the stuffed bell pepper. So I still have the beef left over. Um, it is pasture-raised, organic ground beef, 85% lean, 15% fat. So that is going to go into this little bowl. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to take some Parmesan cheese, grate some of that in there. I will also add some nutritional yeast, which is cheese like um it's got a lot of vitamin b's and also um folic acid and i think iron but for sure 
uh, for sure folic acid it's got uh, vitamin B6, B1, B2, B3, B12 and folic acid. So that will go in there. I'm going to chop up some fresh basil, chop up some fresh onion, and chop up mushrooms. So these are already sliced, but I'm gonna chop them up thinly because it is gonna go in the ground beef. You don't wanna have like a bite of just a giant mushroom when you bite into your bell pepper. I've already cleaned the bell pepper and scooped it out, took all the seeds out. It's gonna have a nice little lid, so it's just a stuffed bell pepper stuffed with goodness and then I will wrap that all up in foil and put it in the oven. The oven is preheating. You want to make sure that your ground beef is really seasoned or whatever meat if you're using turkey or chicken that it's really seasoned because again you're just nibbling you're getting a lot of meat with a little bit of bell pepper as you chop through it so you want to make sure every bite is flavorful. There's nothing worse than just like chewing on a wad of unflavored meat in my opinion. Unless it's your husband and that's your business. Okay, so I have oregano that I'm mixing in with it. I've got, ooh, sea salt that's not closed. Cayenne pepper. Um, more basil, so I'm going to use the powdered, or it's not powdered, it's um, like minced basil flakes, I guess. And then I'm also going to use everything rub, which I just love. It's got, what is in there? Salt, garlic, pepper, onion, chili powder, orange peel powder, paprika, and other spices. So that is going to go into my ground beef that will be um, part of a meal for my meal prep. The other thing I'm going to do, so for tonight, I'm going to have chicken breast. So when I made the fajitas the other night, there were two chicken breasts in the package. What I did is I sliced the second one. I cooked one for the fajitas, and then I sliced the second one, seasoned it, and baked it that night. So that's in the fridge. So I'm going to have that tonight with a side of asparagus wrapped in bacon. So I'll show you guys that. And then I'm going to make the rice. So I have the quinoa and brown rice with garlic. Again, I'm going to add Parmesan to this, and I'm going to add mushrooms mushrooms and it's going to be risotto-esque. I'm going to put a lot of parmesan and heavy cream in there so that way I get my fat content um, that I need for the day and I'm not going to exactly call it risotto because I haven't been officially like taught how to do risotto but it really tastes like risotto when you get that parmesan and cream in. You have to stir it like crazy um, so you just want to make sure it doesn't stick at the bottom of the pan and I use for the bottom of the pan I use avocado oil so that you can get at a high heat without it smoking, unlike olive oil. As I'm sure you know, once you have put olive oil on a high heat, it, it smokes. I had the fire department call twice um, at the other at my other place because it was too high. So I'm going to use avocado oil um, in the bottom of the pan for the rice. And I'll put clips in so you guys can see. And then lastly, remember I made the salmon ceviche and I said I was going to chop up some celery to go with it to dip in it. I am going to do that. I'll chop the celery up just because it's easier to grab and go with the celery. I did get the whole celery this time. The other celery that was pre-cut browned on the ends and I just feel like I'm not sure if it was as high a quality. Like maybe they didn't select the best ones because they knew they were only take chunks out of it. Plus this was less expensive and I got more celery so why not? And then uh, in addition to cutting up the celery and storing that in in a container I'm also going to try to do chips so I have these are the almond flour tortillas that I used for the fajitas which were these were surprisingly good I wasn't sure they do have carbs in it so it has 17 net carbs so it's not like completely carb free so you can't go ham on it so I'm going to mix the tortilla chips with the celery to bite into my ceviche I'm going to fry these up I'm also going to use avocado oil um, in the more it's in the container there's more than in the spray bottle um, to fry these up because I want them to be nice and crisp I like crunchy tortilla chips if you're gonna make them please don't make them in corn oil um, corn oil once you start frying it has uh, an oxidation process and we do all the work during our fertility journey to get antioxidants in so I would hate to see you just like dump on that and give yourself a bowl full of oxidation um, of oxidized tortilla chips so you don't want to use that olive oil um, if you if you can't get the olive oil then try it with the I'm sorry avocado oil if you can't get the avocado oil try it with the olive oil you have to have lower heat I think it'll be a little harder to get it crispy or bake it if you cut them up into little triangles and just spray a little bit of olive oil um, put parchment paper down and then bake them I'm sure that'll be a little crisper and it'll be healthier for you than using something like canola oil or Crisco oil which again has the oxidation once it starts to heat up it's not as stable and then you're also giving yourself a bunch of omega-6s and hopefully you remember your omega-3s and omega-6s um, you want them to be balanced so but please don't avoid oil on your fertility journey um, it's they're called essential fatty oils EFAs for a reason there are no essential fatty carbs or essential fatty proteins so 
essential fatty oils are healthy for you. All right, so I am going to get started with all of this. Um, and I'll show you some of it as we go along. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm going to get this video out. I think this will be it for the day and um, get it out to you maybe Monday or Tuesday. I'm getting better. I almost forgot. There is a scale here that I didn't mention. I will be weighing out my foods that I put in, so I'll weigh out the mushrooms. I will shred the Parmesan onto here. I'll grate it onto there so that I know how much I'm putting in both the meat mixture that I'm putting into my bell pepper as well as what I'm putting into my rice. That makes it easier for me to track my macros and know how I'm doing with my food. Uh, I haven't been under my calories um, and doing things at the end to, to make sure I catch up. I think this will be uh, better food choices to help me stay on my calories, but I won't know that if I don't measure it. So make sure you figure out your macros. <laughs> this again it's 6 10 so I've been in here I think I started like 4 30 it was so light outside so I um I'm all done I do want to say this seeds of change rice is already pre-cooked so you can drop it in the microwave in this bag for 90 seconds I wanted to add the mushrooms and the parmesan so that's why I cooked it um you can also you don't have to cook it in the pouch obviously you can put it in a skillet I did it in a pot anyway so here's dinner for tonight so I have the chicken breast that I did. It's um, with turmeric and onion, um, which is good anti-inflammatory. I've got the asparagus wrapped in bacon, and then I have the rice with the mushroom and parmesan. I also chopped up some celery. I did a lot of celery. I want to be able to mix it with the ceviche and with uh, peanut butter because I like it, and it, that's a great way to get in 190 calories right quick. Here we go. Can you see that? That is the ceviche with the salmon, so I'm going to use the celery sticks to dip into that, and I'm also going to use the tortilla chips that I made. So it's still tortilla chips, it still has carbs, but it is a fun way to do it. So I divided it up so each bag has one tortilla, so it's easier for me to track um, in my fitness pal. I had a little bit left over of my meat concoction with the ground beef, mushroom, onion, basil, and cheese that I put inside of the bell pepper. Um, so I made some little meatballs. So maybe I'll get some more zoodles and eat it with that and either like marinara or pesto. I didn't want to waste the meat and it didn't all fit. I usually do two bell peppers, but I, I remember I used the other bell pepper for the <laughs> for the fajitas because that was like a last minute thing. Anyway, this is still hot so I can't touch it, but here is the bell pepper. You know what? I'll do it. I'll shoot it this way. Nice and yummy. And then here's another dish. I'll have this for another uh, night. So I have a quarter of the rice in here. A serving is a cup, and I did um, half a cup. So I have, um, or I divided, what was the, hang on. Yeah, serving is a cup. There are two servings per pouch. Uh, so what I did is I, I divided it up. So I'm gonna have four servings when it's all said and done. So that is um, half a cup, or a quarter of the pouch. And that's also half a cup. And so then I have a whole cup here that I'll mix in with other items. We'll see. Meatballs, ceviche, salad. 
celery. That's it, guys. All right, so hopefully, hopefully I've held up to my agreement on showing you me making food of what I'm eating and how I'm losing uh, my weight on the keto and, and still eating delicious foods. Because I know sometimes people are like, does it taste good? It, I make sure mine tastes good. And I know this seems like a small portion because I was cooking with someone else and they were on the phone and I showed them, they were like, that looks like a little portion. It, um, it is and it isn't. The, the issue is, I was going to say the problem, it's not a problem. The issue is like eating the fat, the healthy fats, fills you up. It makes you feel satiated. So it's hard to get the calories down. So all of it needs to be nutrient dense. But then at the end of the day, if I need like a scoop of peanut butter to get me 190 calories to get me to the end, that helps. I'm, I'm finding it easy to have like 900 calories down, no problem, and then I feel really full at the end of the day. So this I should be able to get down. Um, yeah, and then it's just like I'm eating in a timed window, so as much, as much food as I can get in as possible helps. Obviously, the girls have woken from their nap. All right, guys, um, I'm going to throw in some clips. Liberty, stop it. I am going to throw in some clips of my journey so far of what I look like from December 28th till today. Enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. It is Saturday, February 6th, and I'm going to do my twirl. I think I, our first one was December 28th, so let's take a look at what that looks like side by side. <laughs> Baby does to us all.